Hi, Dave Snyder here. It's September the 25th, 2013. Made a video the other day showing this uh, this weather pattern in Antarctica, the shape of Antarctica, and uh, I lined it up with this cr reverse crater of Mare Oriental, right here. All right, and I showed, you, I told you that Maunder crater hit there, and basically it fits. That it, I just said it fits there. I mean, I want to show you what I've been able to build off this so far. This is just one arrangement that, that, that the continents had to be in at one time. Let me just show you. I, got, I think I have every continent in this one. Okay, so I know Maunder hits there, right? And I also know Maunder hits in Australia right here. I think I showed that already too. So I, I put the Antarctica continent, or I mean the Australian continent, and I lined up that spot with that spot because I know it goes there so uh, it's, it's somewhere in here and I'm not sure if I got this right yet or not I think it goes a couple different ways but I got it right there see the you can see right there that's where it hits monitor right there and I've just figured this one here I think they're hiding that something right there but I think it just goes right in here there's the old crater somewhere I, I don't know I probably got this off I moved it a little bit but you can see the center right there line up pretty good this edge over here lines up pretty good with that edge right there of the moon, right? And you got the curve. That's probably where I'm off. I'm probably a little bit big on it or something. Actually, no, you see the shape right there? Look at that. Look at that right there. And then look at this right here. Nice. And you see the line and everything coming out the front, but very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so that's lined up pretty good. So I got Australia in there. So now I, I can take the crater away and just look at Australia. And this none of this is, is to scale. I'm starting out with a picture of Antarctica that's bigger than Antarctica. So I mean, it's all bi it's all made bigger, so that it's it's easier, I guess. Okay, so Australia now over this Antarctica, and you see how the I got those two areas lined up. Maunder hits here in Antarctica. Maunder hits there in Australia. So those two areas are lined up, and then check out this line. It just fell into place when I lined those two up. Watch this line right here. All right, you got this angle right here. Okay, so and you can see how this comes down to the point right here. This comes down right here too, like this point. So that's one way that this goes. It's not the only way that Australia fits into the picture, but it's going to start. It might start to confuse in a minute because it's not how I want. I really want to fit with the rest of the pictures. But here we go. Now I got a. Let me just take it down Australia for now. So now I did. What do I do next? Let's see. Oh, China. China. Right here. So I got a China lined up in there, or Asia. I mean, I should say Asia. And I got it like, look at this area here. See this part right here? Look at this area here, right? This right here, this curve part. I know that this is the center in Antarctica. This is the center of that narrow oriental impact. So I'm lining up this area with the, it goes right around that. You can see it kind of curves in the same, same way. So I'm putting that right there, right? It's this weather so far. You can see it fits that weather so far. I mean, you can. Here's that area that see that round area there that goes with this area of Antarctica. Here you see, right here. Those go together. So that's that. That's right. That's pretty much in place for now. I mean, you can see and you can see this point where it comes to that point right there. See that? And it it's, comes down to this point over here a little bit. Might be a little bit off from this Antarctica one, but. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so now I want to put in. South America, right? I think. No, that's not that. No, this one here. So South America. I know that this area goes with this area uh, in South America. I already made a video showing that, I think. Shows this right here lining up with this area right here. I, actually, I think it goes right there, that, that, that strip. But you see how, but actually you see the point, see the point right here? That's what, that's what it felt. I noticed that, and then I just left it right there. See the see the point, see the curve right here. Look at this. 
Okay, and you see the point. You see all this right here. Watch. Look at that. See how it comes up and then at an angle. Does the same thing right here, up and at the same angle in Asia. See that? It's all curved in the same direction and everything. Okay, so then I I said, well, I got to put it in Africa, so I put it in Africa. In Africa, I, I looked around and I got it. Basically, what was I what was I lining up to? I can't remember. I think I was lining it up. I lined it up to Antarctica. Actually, I didn't necessarily line this up to South America, but when it, I think I lined it up to Antarctica. So let's take away South America for now or whatever. And see what it looks like with, uh, or maybe I lined it up to China. Yeah, that's what I lined it up. To. Let's just take a look at this though first. Oh, and this part right here, I noticed this area here in, in Africa, this part right here, where Mondor hits in, in Antarctica, that part goes together right there, you see that? And you see this round area in the center, it's like a circular shape in, right in dead center. Okay, there's the circular shape right dead center, right there. So this fits, this circular pattern fits right here, fits right into place. And then we look at a picture, and I see like this area up here in Africa, in the Sahara, you see, this, see the way the weather pattern is? Okay, I kind of see the same thing there. But then, when I brought China up, check out how China fits. It's awesome. This one. Watch this. Look at this desert right here first. See that right there? It's right there. Look at that. See it? That goes together. And look at the rest of the Himalayas. Look at, look at how it just goes right to Lake Victoria. And you can see the curve of the Himalayas right here. And you can see that desert right right in there. And you can see all this up here fit, too. That's pretty interesting, I think. And then, this, then you got the circular shape in the center. And I'll show you, I'm going to show you how the, the crater fits with all these, too. I'm just kind of going through them. I'll go through them in different ways so you can see how they fit. So this is lined up to South America already, right? Remember I showed you the, the angle here? That's all lined up. See how that is? So basically what that's showing... All together, so if I bring the crater back up, I think it's this one. South America shows it hitting something like that. Okay, and then you got. Okay, let's see. Take the crater away for a minute. Take away South America and bring the crater back. China. See this V shape in the center, like this shape. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this. If this is well, yeah, you can see that. Look, watch. See the point where it comes down to the point. It's right, almost right in place there. In the teardrop or in the claw print of mistakes. Look at that fit. Pretty good. This is a little bit off, I think. Just a slight bit. Okay, then I can uh, let's see what else did I have up here. I had Schrodinger crater. I'll show that in a minute. We showed that right. That fits perfect. And all all this is from that weather. And from this crater, actually, you're just building from this crater, from that Antarctica picture and that and that crater. Oh, South North America. North America, I noticed it fit the it fit the, uh, the crater really good. This and I don't move the crater at all. This crater stays in the same place the whole time. So I'm just building off the, the way that it fits this crater. And when I looked at this one, I was like, hmm, damn, no kidding. I'm sure I've had that one aligned before. Then you look down here, right there too, at the um, what you call it, Yucatan Peninsula, right there. See how that that look at that circular shape that cuts off right there. Look at this on the moon. Right there, I see something right there, circular, cuts right into the same way. I wasn't even lining that up either. Pretty 
interesting. But and then you see, I'll show you how this fits. South America it fits pretty good. It doesn't fit some of the areas behind there very well. Let's see. It doesn't fit Africa right, I don't think, but take a look at it over uh, is this the crater? Yeah, you can see this. See the weather shape over here. Watch. Which one was it that mixed really good with? Oh, South America with with this right here. These are all in the same place. I don't move any. I'm not moving any of them. Just watch South America. Okay, check it out. This the Amazon, I think. No, it wasn't the Amazon. You can see the line right here. Hold on, turn it so we can see better. That's a pretty damn good. I think they were all layered during this impact. I think. That, I think that. I don't know about layered, but created on on the same in the same spot. Like each each layer is a different eruption. You know, it, you got one eruption that creates it. You know, for erupts for a long time after the moon hits, and then it cools off, and then something happens again, hits the other pole, or hits this pole again, and then happens again. You know, another layer, and it, then eventually they, they, it changes the balance of the Earth, and it, something it hits in a different place, and the continents start to separate. I have no idea how it works, but it's pretty interesting to try to figure it out. Because they do all go together. They all share the same land features. No kidding about that. Look at that right there. You see that right there with that shape? The weather right there. You see it's right in the weather. And then I can confirm it even more with, I mean, the shape right here in the center. That's really good in China. Fits together. And I put Schrodinger in here. It fits right here. Right there. Schrodinger will fit right in there, meaning that the South Pole moons hit there too. And I bring in South America again to the top of that, or is it right here? Right here. And that fits right in place where I, where I was said it hits in South America. Look at that. Schrodinger fits right in there. And this Schrodinger is like in the same place, and it'll fit in every every picture too. Every picture. Australia even. I got it lined up right here on this one. Put some in there. And then, uh, Is put together. Oh, let's get North America back in there for something. See that shoulder that falls. Right where I showed it the other day, huh? That's right where I showed it the other day. In the weather. Remember when the Rockies, when they in Colorado, when they were having the weather? It was right in that same place. Pretty close to it. It was that way because there's that thing. It was exactly like that. North America. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. See, it just falls together like that. I mean, it confirms it. So, I know, see the big circle? That I showed it in, on a video the other day. There was a weather pattern right here showing Schrodinger right there, right? And look where it just happens to fall right there. In this, I mean, lined up to South America, basically lined up to all of it. Every every picture I just showed you is lined up. Is all they're all lined up. right here. This is a big circular circle right here. Look right here. Schrodinger. See the circular pattern right there, right there, and you see it up here. And
and right there too. See the circular pattern? It all falls right in there and we get shorter. Right there. right there, see? Just have to fit it. And it's right in that area, so I'm, you know, I might be a little bit off on a couple of things, but it always falls right in place in the right area. See, I've showed there that it hits there too, shorting it right here. Right below South America in Antarctica, that that circular pattern right there, the weather showed Schrodinger there perfectly one day. So it being in, this is the same picture of Schrodinger I showed you with the other with North America, right there. Or I showed it in a video just a week or two ago, you know, and, it, and there it is there in, in this picture in South America. I showed you that it hits right there before. So they were all together at one time. They had to be. Because that, that, that's two different impacts that, that align with this alignment, you know, if you understand what I'm saying. The, the south pole of the moon with Schrodinger in the, involved, hitting all, all, the, all the areas that, are, that I just showed you. China, or Asia, South America, North America, Antarctica, right here, was involved at the time, because it's all in the same place. And then you have the other impact that is this one. Well, not that. I think it's the other one, actually. Yeah, the other, it's this one, actually. Which will, will align with all of them, too. I don't know about the North American one. Oh, yeah, the North American one, for sure. Lines up perfect. That's right. See the Great Lakes right here? These are lakes. See these two lakes right here, I think. Well, they don't show them to you, but they'll be there. There's a lot of different shows. Look at the, look at the continental shelf around uh, Florida there. Right here. Is that a little thing right there, even? Anyways, I think that fits there pretty damn good. If you look at this whole air, this whole line right here, look at that. And that just falls into place because I wasn't lining it up to the crater. I was actually lining it up to South America. Watch how it fits South America. Right there. So you can put, like, the Grand Canyon. You can see where the Grand Canyon falls in this picture. And see what... What else might have cut the Grand Canyon or something when it was in some other place? Because they were definitely like this, in this position, together at one time. To be impacted by the same two areas of the moon, and they had to be together like this at one time as a supercar. Look at that, how that cuts off South America right there. Watch. Look at that. See that? That was definitely there. They just don't give you a good enough image to, to work with half the time. You know, you gotta you gotta snag other images or whatever you gotta do, but that goes like that. At one point in time. Like I said, they were created in one layer and one continent was pushed away or something and the other continent was created. But they so that just means they were created in the same place. South Pole, somewhere, who who knows? Somewhere where you can see the major volcanoes right here, is where I'd say. They do all go together. Anyways, long enough. I hope you understood what I was trying to show you there. And if not, just let me know, comment, and I'll try to get it be do better next time, I guess. Alright, have a good day.